Well, Biosphere is, what would you call it, it's primarily a conservation organisation, but as you probably know, it's pretty difficult to conduct conservation programs. There's not a lot of money available for it in this day and age of you know, economic rationale. And so what we do is we try to um, combine people's interest in coming to remote places and interacting with wildlife with an increasing interest in, I guess, participating in meaningful projects uh, while people are away on their holidays. And uh, so what we do is uh, we allow people to come out and become deeply involved with conservation efforts from location to location, the different questions that are being asked in these different projects. So for instance, in Oman, this is a very early stage of our research into the Arabian leopard. And, and what we're predominantly trying to discover here is whether it's actually in the location. So very, very embryonic, if you like, this research. Here what we do is we go out and we find, we try to find signs of the leopard directly, but also to find signs in the landscape of elements that might support the leopard's presence and also signs of other creatures that might occupy the same, uh, I guess, ecological niche level as the leopard. And if we can find those sorts of signs, even if we don't find the leopard itself, we might be able to make a convincing case that, well, everything's in place here. There should be a leopard here, even if we don't necessarily find the uh, the footprints this year. We can convince, you know, regional, local authorities that uh, the question is worth pursuing next year, for instance. We want to uh, prove that there is some presence of the leopard. So even finding, for instance, some uh, scat, it will be a, a great uh, advancement in the research because it will prove that the leopard is present in this area. And what we want to establish is whether there is a connection between two areas. There are, um, this, this area that we're researching is in between two specific areas where the presence of the leopard has been established and so we want to see if there is a, a corridor, a connection between these two areas um, that might provide a link between the two different uh, areas where it's already been proved that the leopard exists. So it's, it's a very important research because if then there is uh, this proof then obviously there will be talk uh, talks with the local authorities, the local government, to decide what can be done and what should be done. I wake up at around about six, so nice and early. We sort of have a leisurely start, um, eat breakfast and have a briefing at seven. Um, and we usually pile off into th groups of three or four and we take a car, there's four cars uh, around. We train people to use the GPS, to recognize animal signs, recognize animals by sight. They also are trained to drive the Land Rovers because they have a lot of autonomy. After they're trained, we usually split in small groups and these small groups go on surveys uh, around the study area. They go also for community interaction, they make interviews, talks in schools, they distribute uh, material information, informative material for kids. From the amount of effort we put every day with a large team, you know, and during all these years, we can say that leopard is very rare because unlike in other areas uh, with high density of felids, uh, where you find traces and signs on a daily basis here, it's very difficult to find. We start in uh, Jebel Samhan to set up some camera trap around Jebel Samhan and also we move some camera trap to the, um, the Yemen board that we s set up some camera trap we need to know more or to get more information about the leopard how the leopard connecting with the local around uh, Dufar. There is a lots of uh, lots of things we need to know about the leopard. We first try to get all the information what's the leopard need and we need the people to know what's the leopard or why the the government to protect this animal because there is not left in the other country this is the the last place in the Arabian Gulf